Today, Ford dropped a teaser for the new Bronco Raptor. We're going to take a look at that video, analyze it, and we're also going to talk about what powertrain is almost certainly going to be in this upcoming Bronco. My name is Eric and this is RevMatch TV and I noticed that most people who are watching these videos aren't subscribed, so if you like this content, go ahead and subscribe. You can always change your mind later. Let's take a look at this video and see what we can figure out from it. So the first thing that I'm looking at here is these headlights. These look like the pretty standard, typical Bronco headlights, but obviously these are in yellow. I don't know if this is CG, if this is going to be some sort of option or standard as this uh, highlight piece is going to be in yellow, these uh, daytime running lights. But what's really, really interesting here, let's move a little bit forward, is I've seen some speculation as to what these three pieces are up here. So what the NTHSB, I think that the authority is regulating now is that trucks that are a certain width need to have these three lights up in the center of the grill. So you'll see this in the new Tundra, for example, you'll see this in new bigger trucks. So these aren't special cameras, although they potentially could be, but I'm pretty sure these are LEDs that are gonna be mandated by the US government. The next thing that we're seeing here is this super cool grill. This is a pretty classic type of grill that we've seen on the Ford F-150 Raptor. I'll throw that up on screen right now. So you can see the similarities. They're very close. Of course, we have the blacked out Ford logo. It looks very aggressive. And remember, I was one of the first people, in fact, probably the first person to report that this is going to be called the Warthog. Ford, that was from my internal source, Ford had been leaking incorrect information uh, intentionally, probably to suss out the sources, quite frankly, but also just as a red herring. So it's definitely not going to be called the Warthog, even though that would have been a super cool name. Let's take a look at what else we've got here. Another thing that we see, of course, is this very wide body molding here. We've seen this before on the Raptor teaser stuff that even Ford has released too. So we're not getting actual wider fenders. There was a lot of speculation about that. Looks like they are just going to be these plastic pieces um, and you should be able to sort of replicate this look if you want to be on the cheap with your personal version of the Raptor, your customized version by simply going to the aftermarket. I'm sure somebody is going to make something like this available. Now this color is likely going to be unique. I'm going to talk about what this color is in just a second. I think this is going to be unique to the upcoming Bronco. We do have a little bit of information actually leaked from a Ford dealer most likely about what we can expect to see with this upcoming Bronco. So let me know your thoughts down below about the upcoming Raptor. Are you gonna order it? I know you are gonna have to wait a little, bit of, a little bit of time. They're saying 2022, and of course, that means it's gonna be available in 2022. I don't know that you'll actually be able to get your hands on one in 2022, because they've got a huge amount of back orders. In fact, Ford has recently uh, put the ordering process on hold. You can't actually reserve one online right now. Go talk to your dealer, though, if you wanna put in a reservation. And if you want one, you probably should just go put in a reservation because it's going to take a little bit of time and you're going to have to wait. So this is over at The Drive and they are reporting on uh, what we might expect to see with this upcoming Raptor. Uh, presumably this was shared by a Ford store employee, probably not good, probably Ford doesn't like that so much, but there's a new body call code called EJ55 and that was not on the 2021 model. And of course there's a uh, something crucial, which is the equipment package, package simply listed as Raptor. So here's the goods. So the upcoming Bronco Raptor will be offered in two trims, according to this article, a base labeled 373A and a better equipped version marked 374A. So with the 374A, apparently we are gonna get a 10 speaker audio system voice activated navigation, adaptive cruise control, heated steering wheel, wireless charging, and other amenities you would expect in the Lux package. So it looks like we're gonna have probably two trim levels available for the Bronco Raptor. But then here's a little bit farther down in the thread. The poster also says the Raptor will be available exclusively as a four door and the only Bronco variant to offer 
code orange as a paint color. So I think that color we were just looking at back over here, which is a really good color. I, I'm a big orange fan, by the way. I have an orange BMW, very similar to that. I think this is code orange. I think that's what the color is. If I were gonna get this Raptor, this is the color I would get. Maybe I'll try to get a Raptor. We'll, we'll see what happens. My driveway is running out of space at this point. Now there's two other paint colors, apparently something called Eruption Green and Hot Pepper Red are also mentioned in this leak and a mysterious Everglades trim with no real details given on that front. Perhaps it's more of a, uh, a style package. Perhaps it's made for mudding. I guess we're gonna have to wait and find out, see if how real this stuff really is. Now, up until today, this was the only official photo we were getting of the Raptor. In fact, the Raptor wasn't even officially acknowledged up until today as an upcoming model. But you can see that it does have these uh, big uh, fender flares. We can look at that. And, you know, with the suspension, it's sort of difficult to see exactly what the differences might be. It seems to be kind of similar, but I think we can certainly expect something like Fox shocks that we've seen on the F-150 Raptor, the adaptive shocks with uh, perhaps off-board reservoirs. I think we're definitely going to see some kind of lift kit, if you can call it that, or an increase in height, an increase in ground clearance. And let's talk about the engine for a second. And I'll show you why some of these websites are probably wrong. So this is Motor Authority reporting this morning on this, and they're saying that the most powerful 2021 Bronco has the 2.7 liter, as we know, turbo six twin turbo with the uh, 310 horsepower and 400 pound-feet of torque. It's actually a little bit higher than what Ford initially had released uh, back in July of last year. Of course, 10-speed automatic transmission. Now they're saying the new Raptor could feature a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 with more than 400 horsepower and potentially 500 pound-feet of torque, but that is almost certainly wrong. The engine that we are almost certainly going to get is going to be the 3.0 twin turbo V6 that is currently found in a number of vehicles. It's a variation of the 2.7 liter that Ford has the EcoBoost and the 3.0 is found in vehicles like the Lincoln Aviator. In fact, there's a hybrid version of the Lincoln Aviator. So this is the 2020 specs for the Aviator. So it does have the twin turbocharged three liter V6 with start stop technology. In this particular trim, it's making 400 horsepower and 415 pound feet of torque. But there is another version of this engine on the Lincoln Aviator as well. This is the hybrid and we're making almost 500 horsepower, 494 and 630 pound feet of torque. Now, do I expect that the Raptor is going to get a hybrid engine? Mm, not at first, maybe down the line, maybe not. We'll have to see. Ford is definitely moving towards hybridization. I would not be surprised to see it down the line, but I don't expect to see it on the upcoming 2022 version of the Raptor. Now this is the same engine that the Explorer ST has as well. Ford uses this three liter in a couple of different applications. And so there has been discussion about this 3.5 liter. Is this gonna be a possibility? But actually, I think I was the first to report on this. This is over at Ford Authority over here. And they actually, they quoted my video from about a year ago where I had a source who was telling me that the 3.5 liter engine simply does not fit in the chassis of the existing Bronco. You can get the, obviously the three liter in there, which is about the same dimensions as the 2.7 liter EcoBoost. The 3.5 is a bigger engine and apparently it just doesn't fit. Now there's people that have been saying, well, why couldn't Ford make it fit, blah, blah, blah. Well, of course, Ford could make it fit, but not if they want to comply with all of the crash regulations and all of the other safety regulations that every vehicle needs to comply with. There's always people in the comments who say they can do anything they want and they can, but remember, Ford has something like 200,000 reservations for the Bronco right now, so they're not really in a position where they need to appeal to the uh, ultimate super hardcore people in a, in a big, big way. They're getting a lot of sales anyhow. Uh, let's take a look over again at Ford Authority. Okay, this time not quoting me, but this is uh, a much more recent article. This is from May 8th of 2021, and they're saying that the next generation Ford Raptor is going to get the three liter EcoBoost exclusive. So they have a four source also, and they're saying it's going to get the three liter EcoBoost. So I think this is very, very likely to happen. 
the V8 is probably not going to happen in the Bronco. It, again, it's probably not going to fit. I didn't confirm that, but it looks like we're going to get the 3 liter. And I mean, this is not a, a bad engine at all here. What kind of power levels are we going to see? Probably more than the numbers that I just quoted you from the Aviator and also the Explorer ST. I think for a Raptor variant, my guess, this is just a guess, just pure speculation here. We might be looking at something north of 400 horsepower and somewhere in the 400 pound-feet range, above the 400 pound-feet range for torque. And almost certainly we're going to get the 10-speed automatic transmission. I do not see a manual variation happening with this. We certainly haven't got it in a long time with a number of Ford vehicles like the F-150, Raptor, uh, you, you can't get a manual on that anymore. It's been a long time since you can get manuals in a lot of vehicles, so expect the 10 speed. I do have a Bronco coming to me in the next couple of weeks. It is going to be the two-door outer banks. I'm going to get that in October. Let me know if there's something specific that you want to see tested about this vehicle. I know there's some videos that are already up. I've actually driven the two-door Bronco. I only was able to drive it for about 30 minutes or so. I drove it on road. This is the Bronco Sport Badlands in Cyber Orange. It's the two-door edition. In person, it looks really, really good. It's really chunky. Somebody just stopped by to, to take a look at this. They're very interested in it. Their impression was pretty favorable too. So uh, this has the vinyl uh, leather seat trim option. And this has got the 2.7 liter with the 10 speed automatic transmission. And it's got a huge center screen. I like it, it's very cool. It drives very well. Uh, the ride quality is excellent in this. It definitely rides better than some of the competition. And I dig it. So I think I'm gonna try to get one of these for a week and do a full review. Let me know what you guys think. Now Ford isn't always completely serious. There is a series that is on Hulu, not a series, but a movie that's on Hulu with the Ford spokesperson, John Bronco, and he's back. There is a quick video, I'll show that to you now. Some said I was done. No sparks in my plug. Yeah. No giddy yeah. in my up. Bronco. No jitter in my bugs. And yet, here I stand. The fire still burning, an old man still learning. Buckle up, Ninos, for this pitch man's returning. Ah! Hey! Damn, I forgot what I was gonna say. This is played by Walton Goggins. He's absolutely hilarious. I haven't seen the entire thing yet, but this is called John Bronco Rides Again. There was a previous full length, uh, whatever, 90 minutes, something like that. If you wanna check it out, you should go over to hulu.com and watch it yourself. I'm in no way affiliated with Hulu or doing any kind of advertising for them. Now, if you're the kind of person that likes to work on your own car as I do, you should go and check out Lexavon torque wrenches. I recently got this. This is not a sponsored video, by the way, but I do get some affiliate revenue from Amazon. And these are really great torque wrenches for the money. I've got, um, I like the quality of them. I've been using them quite frequently just to change my wheels. I've got some videos on how to use a torque wrench. I know it's very basic, but people don't exactly know how to do that. So go check that out down below. And if you're interested, check these out on Amazon. Link in the description. Automotive News is reporting that the Aviator is going to go EV with Lincoln's electric push. So we're going to see some more powertrain options. We already talked about the Aviator with the two engines that we have right now, but uh, they're saying after appearing to fall behind most of its competitors in the push towards electrification, Lincoln has a plan to add some form of battery power to its entire lineup by the end of the decade. You've probably heard this. Ford has pledged that they are going to go 40% EVs in 10 years, nine years really now by 2030. So Lincoln is going to be part of that. Ford executives apparently have said that they are going to reveal the brand's first battery electric vehicle sometime in 2022. So I think it's going to be the Aviator. In fact, they are saying it's going to be the Aviator and it's going to be uh, on sale in 2023. Now, obviously you're here because you're into the Ford news. I just did a great video on the Mustang Mach 1. I had it for a week, did a review on it. Fantastic vehicle, go check it out. My name is Eric, please subscribe. See you in the next video.